morning children let us continue the yesterday's topic words to describe people yesterday's topic only today i am going to continue so children yesterday i told about the words how they were using in rigveda archaeologist was telling the words uh, the two words are there and the meaning will be same so in the same way a priest or we can call the brahmins king rulers and also the community jana in hindi we call jana also the meaning will be the same the words were different so in rigveda they have they used the language and also written the different types of the words giving the same meaning also so today also some sometimes the people who composed the hymns described themselves as aryas and called their opponents dasas or dasyas so children the main members in the community the priest or first were the rulers after the rulers priest or brahmins they have given the importance in the same way the when they were composing the hymns the songs they were uh, composed and the, uh, described in the different uh, also then what uh, the different word they used the aryas or call their opponents the dasas or dasyas so these people what work they are doing what is the importance of the these people also they have written separately also these were people who did not perform sacrifices and probably spoke different languages so the performing of the agnas agas the priest or the brahmins they used to do and sacrificing the agas and everything also and puja also they do in the temples but these people who are these people dasas or dasyas these people they are far from the agnas and agas also and they will not sacrifice any or they will not do any puja in the temple so these people they speak the different languages also we can see here dasas or dasyas they speak the different languages also and these people only later the term dasa came to came to be means slave so dasa means the people slaves to whom we call the slave the people those who are working under the high people and then also the these people only they are the called dasas or slave also we can call the slaves were women and men who were often captured in the war these people only dasas or dasyas men and women also they used to participate in the battle or in the war and also the the rigveda was being composed in the north west of the subcontinent so the rigveda it is the oldest and the four vedas are there up to now what we have learned about the rigveda only there are the four vedas rigveda is the oldest veda and 3500 hymns are there and different words they were explaining and also the this rigveda was it was composed by the northwest northwest of the subcontinent this is about all the meaning and they written and printed and was written by the people of the northwest of the subcontinent so children the words described just you have to read in the textbook page number 38 and 39 properly you can understand one more time let us continue in the next class